Hi all, welcome to Show Studio's video review series. I'm Show Studio fashion editor Georgie Evans and I'm joined by Show Studio content editor Callum Knight. Hello. Um, we are in Paris and we are going to be talking about Marine Sair, which is a hugely hot anticipated um, brand on the schedule. Marine Sair has just been going up and up and up in everyone's books um, and you could tell today everyone was sporting full look Marine Sair in um, show of appreciation. So last season we were taking cave diving and the invitation was a kind of oyster shell with a large um, light on it ready to take us cave diving we saw these wonderful creatures of the deep that marine kind of had, had unearthed um, and the idea behind this is that we crawled into a cave to escape the chaos of climate in a post-apocalyptic world and this season we're starting to emerge and to see what is left of the planet um very apt considering Greta Thunberg literally did her did one of the most powerful speeches yesterday um so Eric, kind of uh, the environment climate change um and the planet's kind of lack of um movement towards it um is very much in everyone's noggins so it was really um kind of apt that we were arriving at this uh, basically a wetland that Marine had created um, with all of that in mind so really really poetic actually um, anyway so this season we're, we're emerging from the cave uh, we've survived the apocalypse um, and we're seeing how we can um, make do and mend what what's lasted what hasn't what um, how have we evolved how have we changed um, and so invitations are an umbrella which I'm not going to open because bad luck but um, logoed by Marine Sir and it has this kind of slight oily sheeny texture to it and that's really important there is a real um, staple throughout the entire collection um, it also was practical because it was <laughs> miserable here in Paris and so everyone had their umbrellas up and um, so we walk into the wetlands take a seat um, and we're all on kind of metal round um, tubing and there's a real industrial element um, to the collection as there often is with the Marine Sir show um, the show was titled Marais Noir which um, kind of means oil slick or oil spill or black wave um, and with that we're kind of talking about the oil slick apocalypse what's kind of been how's the earth been ravaged so the collections divided into the clans the kind of groups that have managed to survive um, this kind of world um, world's end um, and the first uh, section of the collection as you can say is all about this kind of oil slick black um showing rebellion these are kind of the slightly more punkish looks out of the collection and lots of black moire which I, I think is a really clever fabric to use for this fabrication to use for this um section because it gives that slight sheeniness to it but also that slight wooded pattern so um for me there's always a slight post-human ele element in what marine does and i'll talk about that a little bit later throughout the clans but um this and some of the dog there's literal dogs um coming out um with some of the looks really adds to this like dark apocalyptic rebellion almost mad max-ish but not quite in that realm um so the first looks are beautiful all black looks really really streamlined either embossed leather with the marine logo um on a kind of belted coat her typical boots that she's done for previous seasons which are almost knee high slightly pointed and they have that um grippy sole as well which really works um not only practically with the set but also with this um slight struggle that we're getting with these characters that marines built um again also the shells from the previous collection are um draped um in kind of chains and layers on some of the necklaces and on necks the first two looks actually are almost bulbous and they're moire as well um and what one of them had like a light choker and that light was the same as what we had in the previous uh season so literally emerging from the cave and what i really liked is that again slightly tying into that post-humanism is this these bulbous shapes of shoulders and a giant puff ball um on one of the women's wear looks and it's almost like they've emerged from the dark and their entire silhouette they've evolved into this completely new um shape for um for, for humans almost um so i really like that um, later on in the clans we start getting a little bit more deserty um, there's slightly more jacquard materials and um, slightly more brownish tones still with beautiful suiting um, and a typical marine sir streamline um, bodycon which is so so, so successful um, and for good reason it looks fantastic and then later on we're starting to get even more it's almost as if um, the first clan came out and kind of sussed the scene and then as they as the rest of the clans come out they're starting to get a better idea of who they want to be what they want to carve out for themselves how they can survive so what i really like was i think it's the second to last clan um are no maybe the one before are in denim looks kind of denim skirt denim jacket all in uh, all with printed with the marine sir moon 
um, and one of them had a little uh, Pomeranian under their arm. But what I liked is that it, they were kind of typical tropes that we would see nowadays. I'm talking as if the Marine Sir collection is in the far off future. <laughs> um, so kind of the girl in denim with little, little shoes and a dog under her arm um, and a kind of Rodeo Drive woman with a almost Chanel-like um, blazer and skirt combination but with the Marine Sir touch. It's almost like they've looked back into what they can kind of remember from the past, pre-apocalypse, and have been trying to replicate looks from those um, kind of stereotypes, which I really, really enjoyed. And then later on, we're getting kind of looks made of toweling, um, which sounds awful, but it was really brilliant. There were strap tops with thick gold buttons down the back um, and frayed skirts. Um, and the idea behind this was that the climate's gotten so hot that... Um, uh, these individuals are having to like create uh, garments out of toweling to keep cool um, but I thought that was particularly successful in the menswear um, the women's wear was really beautiful slight, slight um, kind of cinching at the waist but I really liked the almost poncho like um, jackets for the menswear and then last section I believe it was the last section you have these almost um, shamanic beautiful flowing dresses which in typical marine style are Flashing prints, swathe, like swathes of fabric across the chest and then down the back, or a slightly um, layered curvature to a bodycon dress with um, the full marine uh, slickness. Um, heads are sometimes covered, um, and but yeah, this was much more flowy and printed fabrics and shears, and felt a little bit almost organzery, but I don't think that was the fabrication. Um, so yeah, thoroughly, thoroughly impressed with this collection. The one slight gripe I have but um, I understand that they'll do exceptionally well is the Rain Max so all of the press and um, not press the PRs are wearing these Rain Max and they are recycled plastic Rain Max black shiny to fit with the oil slick theme um, and they have um, Marie Noir Marine Sir and the date of the show on the back um, and they're really slicky um, and shiny and they look great on all the PRs um, but seeing them in the runway I was a bit like oh it feels a bit um, kind of Demna Vetmont to me um, which I don't l like to put Marine in the same bubble as. Um, but however, I know they'll do really well and they, I, they kind of fit with the whole mood, so I can't gripe too much. But they kind of took me away a little bit, um, took me a little bit away from this kind of wonderful fantasy that I was clearly getting very lost in. <laughs> um, so I thought it was an absolutely brilliant collection. Marine Sir is, as I say, one of the absolute ones to watch on the schedule. She's just going up and up and up. Her references are amazing. I love the political undertone, but also the clothes are there to back it up. Um, it was just really, really brilliant. Really, yeah. really brilliant. I, th I think the fact that the clothes are there to back it up, because obviously in one way you can say that there's kind of two conflicting ideas if you're talking about climate wars, yeah. and then also showing a lot of new product. That's and true. we've Very sat true. in this car a few times and said, you know, those, I think those <laughs> ideas don't work together. Yeah. But I think she does it really, really well. One, in her kind of commitment to finding new fabrics and to really working things out. I mean, I don't know if she's saying it literally as part of the story in the press release, but she's saying tablecloths and oh, yes, things are right. kind of recycled. And I think she means that they actually are. Yeah. Not kind of just to add into the story that, you know, she's trying to take, and, you know, she takes inspiration from anything that's out there. And I think that's really, really relevant. And I think that's how a lot of people are seeing fashion now I think if you speak to kind of most people who are in uni or just graduated in London that's how or kind of anywhere it's just I live in London so that's those people I speak to mm. that is how they're that is how they're seeing fabrics and um and kind of you know I guess supply chains and all of that it's just kind of well whatever's around or whatever I have let's reuse that to make something new instead of kind of creating all this stuff and I don't know I just think it was thought it was so interesting that whilst there are logoed fanny packs in Mare which I really want they were great yeah. that that product side of it didn't take me out of this storyline and that's such a commendable feat for someone so young yeah five seasons I believe so and also not not um, had the well you know that that turn of phrase LVMH kiss of death yeah it's actually taken that and ran with it where sometimes I think the LVMH pressure can get to a lot of designers or the money can get but yeah completely blown well, I'm saying she year. won the LVMH prize yes, for anyone sorry. who, who doesn't know what we're talking prize about a little while ago so um and often that can feel like um the kiss of death or uh, designers necessarily don't necessarily know how to handle that but actually it's been the fuel to her fire yeah um which is how they it was actually uh, I completely forgot about the um recycled looks with the yeah. crochet and lace and curtains and 
um, fabrics and the narrative is that they've kind of found bits and bobs but actually you're quite right I yeah. do believe they are entirely recycled and they looked that arguably that was one of my favourite sections yeah for sure um, really really beautiful and the finish on some of those the cut on some of those actually was beautiful and I think they're so you know I year and a half ago went to a show and had a bit of a and in my review said well do you know I think it really doesn't work to have all these sections because at the time it was all very different it was all like lots of some bits were recycled some bits weren't and she's really managed to refine her presentation structure her business structure and still have these very separate aesthetics underlaid with the same ethos and I think that's what's really brought this whole thing together and made it all so convincing and you know people are really listening to her yeah, now, as absolutely. they should be as they should be yeah um, so an exceptionally um, great show I would say <laughs> um, make sure to comment like subscribe if you're watching through YouTube let us know what you thought did you like it um, political comment not worth it in fashion let us know um, and make sure to visit Show Studios so you can see this fabulous show alongside our review and um, we'll see you guys very soon